Hey students and welcome to Adventure Day where your teacher has asked us to take you out of the classroom and on an adventure. And today we're at Oso Flaco Lake where we're going to get a workout in. Here's the rules. When I say let's jog, we're jogging for 45 seconds. I'm jogging in real life, you're jogging in place. We'll do some stops along the way and at those stations we'll have a little bit of special workouts for you there. Alright, let's get started. Let's start a jog. Here we are here at the broken tree on the right hand side. About two football field lengths in, when you're on your adventure, you'll see this broken tree right here. And look, it looks like there's a little card here for us to do a workout. All right, this workout, they call it the two-step, but it's actually a side lunge. So we'll get a close up on that card real quick. There it is. Now you know how to do it. I'm gonna give you an example and do it with me now. Here we go, side lunge. We'll go to your right first. We'll go to your right, put all your weight on one leg, push yourself back up. So we're gonna do 10 on the right and then 10 on the left. Here we go. There you go, do them with me now. Now we're going to go to the other side. Okay, when we're doing these, we want to make sure that our knee doesn't go too far past our toes. We're almost there. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right, that's 10. Woo! Getting a workout. Let's go. We're jogging again. Oh, here we go. There's one more. I think this might be what I think it is here. That's right. Here we are right next to the lake. Some ducks over there. They get some beautiful shots of those ducks. Thank you, Coach Pope, for helping me out. And over here, we got a card that says duck walk. That's right. Just like lunges, you're going to stay extra, extra low, as low as you can go. And I'm going to give you an example of a duck walk while you do it with me now. I'm going to do it in a straight line, but at your house, you might not have any space at all. So at your house, just go in a circle. Stay as low as you can. Do a circle. You'll be all right. Here we go. Stay low, stay low. Nice and low. Try to keep that 90 degree angle right there in that front knee between the hip. Oh, between the thigh and the calf. Oh, this is pretty good. I'm liking this. Turn around so I don't get too far away. Keep this going. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Keep it going. 
stuff off. Nice and low, nice and low. Alright, feels good. Did the duck walk. Let's go. Jogging again. Here we are, right in the middle of this beautiful lake. We have a placard here that's gonna give us a little bit more information about the beautiful area that we live in. Right here it says there's a whole underwater world. Osos Flaco Lake is home to many different fish species and there's a lot, of, a lot more information that you need to read when you guys come down here. But seeing all these awesome fish makes me think, you know what's a good exercise? We're gonna do some swimmers. So wherever you're at right now in your room or at school, find a space. Make sure the floor is nice and clear. What you're gonna do is lay down on your front side. Just like this, lay down on your tummy. Put your arms out in front of you like this and point your toes. Now your feet are gonna kick just like you're kicking in the water and your hands are gonna stay about three inches above the ground and just pedal back and forth like this. We're doing 30 seconds, you ready? Set, go. Now you want to keep your core nice and tight on this one. Try not to let your chin touch or your nose or your forehead. Keep that head up. Keep those feet up. Hands too. Keep it going, keep it going. We're almost there. It's all right, Siri, we're just working out. All right, you felt it, you felt it. I sure did. We're jogging, let's go. That was a good 45 seconds. All right, once you get out of that little trail right there of trees, you have a nice opening right here. We're gonna pull over here for a second, <sighs> catch our breath, and then do one of my favorite exercises. It's a stability exercise. It's gonna strengthen your core and strengthen your legs. We're gonna try to bring it up to the arms today. This is a Super Mario Brothers pose. So what I want you to do is put one leg, pick right or left, whichever you like, one leg planted firmly on the ground, the other one, you're gonna lift up to about 90 degrees right there. One hand goes up, your right hand or your, or your hand, the back of your body goes up, the other one goes back. Ready?
there. Almost there. Woo. Now that was a long 45 seconds, I'll tell you what. But here we are, finally at the beach. Take a look at this beautiful view right here. Ah, wonderful. All right, I can think of no better exercise to do at the beach with all this sand than crab walks. So here we go, I got a card right here to give you a good visual cue right there of what crab walks look like. All right, now this is another one of those activities, those exercises that you're gonna need to make sure that your space is clear around you. So at home, just travel in a circle, stay within your small confined space. Outside, I'm gonna go straight line and come on back. We're gonna try to do this for 30 seconds, 30 seconds straight, moving the whole time. All right, starting my watch. I'm getting in crab stance right here. I'm having my feet out in front of me like I'm doing a sit up. My hands right behind me with my fingertips pointed out. Here we go, I'm going forward. And I think we are done. All right. Want to give a big shout out to all the teachers out there that let their students come on this adventure. So big thank you to them. Thank you to the students for doing such a great job. At this time, I'm going to give the class back to the teacher. You guys are going to do your cool down and your stretches back at home. All right. This is also Flacco. If you guys ever want to come out on your own time, happy to have you out here. Happy to have you doing exercise. We'll see you guys next time.